Why is it always the ones with so much potential in the world? I, I, I just don't understand why. Um, the NFL has dealt with a lot of tragic losses, especially of, you know, some former, younger former players. And, of course, Dwayne Haskins, uh, he tragically passed away after being hit by a car. And, you know, I think recently it was Marion Barber was one of the other ones that, that tragically passed away. And now um, tragedy has hit the Baltimore Ravens with linebacker, Jalen Ferguson, known as Sack Daddy, as he is the NCAA's all-time sack leader, ironically breaking Terrell Suggs' record for um, most sacks ever in a career at the collegiate level, and Terrell Suggs being a Ravens legend in his own and a future Hall of Famer. And, you know, I, I don't really like bringing up players' performances from when they did play, because... Jalen Ferguson was starting to show his potential what he truly could be, and this year was going to be the year that he was probably going to have the biggest opportunity to do that, and now, now we never get to see that, and it's kind of sad. I mean, all we really know is, I think it was around 8 p.m. last night, they were called, or ambulance medics were called to, um, to I don't know if it was an apartment complex or whatever, but wherever he was at the time, he wasn't responsive, he wasn't breathing, and around midnight he was pronounced dead at the age of 25. He was about to turn 26 soon, or I think, it, no, sorry, he was 26, about to turn 27, that's my bad, sorry. And, yeah, I mean, it's just, you, 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 sometimes with these stories, it's just unbelievable. I mean, you, you just never think anything like this is going to happen. I mean, someone who may seem so healthy all of a sudden something like this happens because they did say that they suspect there was no foul play or anything this seemed to be some sort of medical issue that happened i mean it's probably one of those ones where you don't know you have it until that time is there and all of a sudden you're just you pass away like it just happens i mean the man could have had a heart attack out of nowhere i don't know there's just endless possibilities here if it is a medical thing as to what it could have been and all that kind of stuff and you know um that's really all we know and and I think out of respect I think it's best that we don't we we don't try to you know guess what happened because there's some people saying well maybe he overdosed or maybe he, he intentionally killed himself and I'm like see that's disrespectful and until we know for sure don't go around guessing and then try, or at least try to guess what happened to the person. We know this, and it's just a tragic thing that happened. And we're going to mourn the loss of a player who will forever be a Raven. You know, no matter his contributions or what, he, he will forever be a Raven. I mean, there's that saying, once a Raven, always a Raven. And there's been players that have come here later in their career that enjoyed it so much that even though they may have spent two or three years with the team, they retire as a Raven. Look at Anquan Bolden, for example, spent three years with us. Even though he spent seven years in Arizona, he decided to retire as a Baltimore Raven because the atmosphere our organization gives off is just so positive. And with Jalen Ferguson, there was so many players and even the coaches were very high on him that knowing that we're never going to see his full potential is is devastating and disappointing to be gone at 26 years old while you can still say he was in the prime of his career. It's just like, you, you just, you don't understand. You, you don't understand why this happens to the people it does. Cause he just seemed like the nicest human. There's been a lot of people that are saying, you know, he was just really soft-spoken, really kind. He treated everybody with respect. You know, there was not a lot of bad things said about him other than maybe the offensive lineman that he destroyed in college like you know they he got past them a lot for and got to their quarterback but you know that's just basically seen as respect when someone's like man I hated going against him in college because the man would just, he, he would run by me every time and sack the quarterback like you know that's not them being disrespectful that's just them saying hey man respect to his game this that and the other so really just going to finish it off. Rest in peace, Jalen Ferguson. You will forever be a Raven uh, through thick and thin.